Kim Zolchak Berman is definitely the queen of her castle or her mansion in Alpharetta, Georgia. In the past, the reality star has said she hardly likes to leave her lavish estate and I can see why. She moved into her dream home with her husband, Croy Berman, back in 2013 where they still currently live with their six children. And it makes sense they need such a sprawling home for such a big family. We'll take a look inside Kim's beautiful mansion and more, we even found the listing. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. While Kim Zolchak Berman may have left her role on The Real Housewives of Atlanta long behind her, she also let the public into her life on her spin-off show Don't Be Tardy, which had its final season in October 2020. In the series, we've seen plenty of glimpses into her beautiful home, located in Alpharetta, Georgia, that spans a whopping 17,000 square feet of space. Kim is a TV personality and singer who appeared back in 2008 as one of the original housewives on the reality show The Real Housewives of Atlanta and left the series in 2012 during the fifth season. She returned as a friend of the housewives for the show's 10th season in 2017 to 2018, but by then she was doing her own thing. Kim, who was married to football player Croy Berman, received her spin-off series in 2012 titled Don't Be Tardy for the Photoshop, which focused on their wedding preparation. The show was renewed, the title was shortened to Don't Be Tardy and ran for eight seasons, focusing on the couple and their six children. At the time of this recording, the couple has an estimated net worth of about $8 million or more, and Kim's is at over $3 million alone, so let's just say it pays off to be a reality star. Hey guys, it's Karen. I'm bringing you another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. I've been noticing a lot of copycat channels recently, but we're the original source for celebrity house tours, so be sure to hit that subscribe button and show your support. We post a new video daily. Today, we're gonna take a look at reality star Kim Zolchak and where she calls home with her family including her epic mansion in Alpharetta and more. If you liked this video, be sure to check out our recent house tours on some of her former Real Housewives co-stars such as Kenya Moore and Portia Williams, which we'll link to at the end. As always, don't forget to follow me on Instagram to tell me who's up next and now let's get into this video. Before we look at Kim's current mansion, let's take a look at her formal high-priced rental abode. Fans may recognize this particular residence from the series when Kim called it her dream home. It seems like every house is her dream home according to her, and she lived here during two seasons of Housewives with Croy and the kids. They even lived here during the first installment or season of her spin-off show while they were planning their lavish wedding in this very backyard. The home was listed after the couple moved on for nearly $3 million, and it was a stately Georgia mansion as you might expect. The brick house sat on two acres of land and it came with a celebrity pedigree since it was seen on TV. The home had features like a sprawling kitchen with large marble island and designer appliances as well as a formal living room with classy white fireplace. There was also an entryway and what looked like an attached great room with soaring double height ceilings, dramatic staircase, and floor to ceiling windows. According to listing materials and photos, Kim's former rental mansion also had two additional full kitchens because three is better than one, an au pair suite with one of the full kitchens, a gentleman's library, and a caterer's planning office, whatever that is. If that's not enough, the mansion amenities just go on and on. If you want to entertain guests, there were three family rooms to choose from and other fun hangout spots like a games room, a billiards room, and a movie theater. Elsewhere, there was an elevator, home gym, and a reading loft. Kim didn't end up wanting to stay at this home, but her and Croy enjoyed quite a luxury master suite while they lived here. They came with a morning room, coffee bar, and more. Outside on the grounds, there was a large outdoor living area, as well as a sports court and impressive pool with waterfall. Kim and her fam famously clashed with the home's owners about interior decorating services and the cost, and tabloids released rumors of eviction from this mansion. Kim claimed she was always on time with her rent, that the Zolchak Beermans were renting with the intention of purchasing the place. However, when the inspection came back at a million dollars lower than the owner's $3.25 million asking price, the couple decided not to overpay. They moved back to Kim's townhouse while they awaited the completion of their bigger, better current mansion. So let's take a look. Just last year, Kim opened up the doors of her mansion for a tour and gushed about how much she really loves the place. She and Croy purchased the home back in 
2012 for 880K, but didn't move in until 2013 because they were renovating and customizing the home to be absolutely perfect. The estate is in the Manor Golf and Country Club in Alpharetta, Georgia, built with a gorgeous brick and stone exterior and located on the 18th hole of the course. It also sits on the lake, creating a tranquil vibe and giving amazing views. Kim's not so humble abode is the place she's famously said in the past that she hardly ever likes to leave and considers it her dream home. It's situated on a 1.78 acre lot with manicured grounds and a ton of amenities. Alvaretta is about 40 minutes from the heart of Atlanta and in the other direction, you'll find the enchanting North Georgia mountains for some scenery. Kim absolutely loves her mansion, which spans 17,000 square feet with five beds and 6.5 baths. Even with all that space, the pair has six kids, so I wonder who shares a bedroom. Kim married Croy back in 2011 and they share four kids together, while Croy adopted Kim's children Brielle and Ariana from previous relationships. The dramatic floor plan in the mansion wasn't complete when the family moved in. However, Kim made sure they custom finished it themselves. The luxurious home has a basketball court outside, a sprawling pool with spa, and a waterfall that Kim likes to keep at 90 degrees, as well as a bunch of surrounding sun loungers. In true Kim fashion, the steps that lead into the pool have sparkles, while the basketball court is lined with trees for privacy. The mansion has a sprawling master suite on the main level, as well as a huge basement level and a six car garage. They have a dining room that's been designed with dark colors like black walls for a classy vibe and a modern chandelier overhead. Then there's a fancy bar area with red cushioned chairs in the mostly white kitchen. In the dining room, there's also a Versace china set in the cabinet that they apparently never use and two large thrones at the table for Kim and Croy. Of course, Kim also decked out the dining room chairs in bling because she loves it. There are thrones in other rooms of the house too, such as the wood paneled study which also has a fireplace. However, Kim's favorite room in the home is the entertainment room, which she's named the Hollywood Room, where her daughters apparently hang out with their friends and watch TV. She said, This is my favorite room in the whole house. It's called the Hollywood Room, and this is actually my girl's TV room, where they hang out with their friends. I am obsessed with this room. This spacious room has a long white wraparound couch, a glass coffee table, TV, black curtains, and a large chandelier. It's also super glamorous. In Kim's tour of her mansion, she also showed the elevator and said that her family takes advantage of the space, sometimes using it to hide presents or even have some fun with her husband in private. The estate also has amenities like a home theater, a gym, and a man cave for Croy with classy full bar in one corner. We also know the famous family likes to decorate for the holidays. Just last year for Christmas, Kim and her fam were getting ready to deck the halls. She explained she has five storage units full of Christmas decor. As Kim showed in her Insta stories, they already decked out the grand staircase in ornaments, flowers, and big red bows, as well as a Christmas tree with lights and silver details at the top of the stairs. Downstairs, there was a huge tree with owls, snowflakes, and bird cages. While they only paid under a million for the original property, since Kim and Croy basically built their home and customized it how they wanted it, it would be now worth five million dollars or something around that. On an episode of Don't Be Tardy, we also saw Kim looking for a property in Arizona as well for a potential move. We have yet to hear if the family is buying a place there. During the house hunting, Kim and her family looked at a super modern 6,600 600 square foot home, but Kim wasn't into that one. She was more impressed by the next place, a 7,600 square foot mansion with wine storage, huge closets, and an enclosed private backyard. However, Kim did admit it would be hard to move, saying, We built our house in Georgia, so it is kind of hard to look at somebody else's work and fall 100% in love with it. I guess we'll just have to wait and see what happens. So now we've checked out the homes of former Real Housewives of Atlanta star Kim Zolchak Bierman, so I think I'll bring this house tour to an end. What did you guys think of her current mega mansion in Alpharetta or her former spa? I love her current mansion, but it is pretty massive and I have no idea what I would do with all that space. But I love the pool area most of all, especially with the beautiful waterfall. Be sure to let me know what you guys liked or didn't like about Kim's homes down below. I've also been reading all your comments on our house tours and I'm gonna be shouting you guys out. I love hearing everyone's opinions. Opinions. These are from our recent Candy Brewers house tour. Rebecca L said, Thank you for doing this video, amazing as always. I love how Candy mixes expensive items with more affordable items for her decor. Hey Rebecca, I agree. I love that about her place too. It gives some down to earth vibes and good ideas for decorating. And Phoebe Brown wrote, I love Candy, always have. She has so much class in everything across the board. I hope that she doesn't leave Real Housewives, but if that's what she needs to do, then so be it. If you guys want me to show you out 
next time, don't forget to leave me a comment about Kim's mansions and keep your eye out at the end of our next house tour. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and I will see you all next time. Bye.